Welcome to God Speaks. I am Tashi Campbell and I am an ordained minister. Thank you so much for joining me. So it has been nine months now since I have been, nine months since I have been fostering. And yes, I am a foster parent. And I want to just tell you a little story with my, that happened recently with my foster child and how God spoke through that situation to me. She convinced me that she knew how to ride a bicycle. So eventually I bought her a bicycle, brand new. And when I bought her the bicycle, she couldn't ride it. She had never been on a bicycle but she told me that she knew how to ride a bicycle. All right, so you know that we have to teach. But the problem is, because I thought she convinced me that she knew how to ride a bicycle, I didn't buy one with training wheels. So now I have this brand new bicycle, no training wheels, and a friend of mine convinced me that if you didn't buy training wheels before, don't bother wasting money to buy that she will learn how to ride the bicycle without it because she's determined. So yesterday I went and I, I took her to the playground in our community where there was, you know, lots of space and level playing field with grass and so on. And yeah, I took her there so she could get a feel of riding her bike. I told her to sit on the bicycle and I held on to it. I said, I'm not going to let you fall. I'm not going to let you fall. Just pedal. It will only move, the bike will only move once you pedal. So I demonstrated, I gave the instructions and so on, but it was not working out. She just couldn't get it. So what she ended up doing was back pedaling. And you know, when you back pedal, the bicycle will not move. So it became, needless to say, it became frustrating. <laughs> so I took a break and left her alone with the bike and watched her from a distance. And she started to walk around. She was on the bicycle, but her feet were on the ground and she was walking with the bicycle between her legs and she's walking to move the bicycle around. wanted to do her own thing and so I allowed her to. Now the situation is she had never ridden a bicycle before in her life. She did not know what pedaling feels like. She did not know how to do it. It didn't make any sense to her. And without training wheels, this is going to be increasingly challenging because if she had training wheels, she would have been able to sit on the bicycle without you know me being in the way to hold it or anybody else and then she would know that pedaling is what will make it move and she would have gotten her groove and she would have moved along with it and all of that but she had none of those experiences now what was the issue here she wanted a bicycle because she saw other children with bicycles riding around the neighborhood and perhaps she thought I could do that too. And I believe she can when she once she learns, of course. But then she wanted to have the bike thinking that she could just go on and do this without going through the necessary stages and procedures. And that is where God spoke to me. Sometimes we want to take shortcuts. And one of the things that I believe God spoke through that situation is that we must learn to go through. We must learn to go through. Yeah, go through your stages, go through the process, go through your situations. I want to say that each stage is a necessary part of your journey. Each stage is a necessary part of our journey to our destination. Whatever our goals are, the stages are necessary. When we skip stages, 
or we pursue shortcuts. The shortcuts significantly increases the potential. The shortcuts significantly increases the potential to be robbed of the training for which your journey is designed. So in other words, shortcuts have consequences. And if we take shortcuts, it will lead to unnecessary mistakes. It will lead to trouble. And in some cases, it leads to poverty. So go through. That is how God spoke to me through this situation. In Proverbs chapter 19, verse 2, this is what the Bible says. Desire without knowledge is not good. Desire without knowledge is not good. How much more will hasty feet miss the way? Desire without knowledge is not good. How much more will hasty feet miss the way? Now, desire without knowledge is a description of a person who is greedy, a description of a person who is impulsive. And this person is a person who makes decisions and they take actions that are an expression of their reckless desires. Desire without knowledge is not good. This is a description of a person who is greedy or impulsive and a person whose decisions or actions are an expression of their reckless desires. So it is important that we seek out knowledge and we are patient to stick with the process, whatever that process is. Proverbs chapter 21 verse 5 says, The plans of the diligent lead to profit as surely as haste leads to poverty. The plans of the diligent lead to profit as surely as haste leads to poverty. So sometimes we are too hasty. We want what we want right away. And the being hasty comes with consequences. The opposite of hasty, we must be diligent. We must be patient. We must work, do the work, and, and be trained by the process, be trained along the journey so that we can reach desired goal or destination. And Proverbs chapter 22, verse 29, this is the last scripture that I will share with you. It says, do you see someone skilled in their work? They will serve before kings. They will not serve before officials of low rank. My friends, those who attend to their work and produce excellence will receive notice. That's pretty much what this scripture is saying. You will be noticed for your excellent work. As a matter of fact, the diligent person will experience improvement and this person will also experience success. So it is important for us to take the time to learn, to hone our skills and thereby we will shine. That is how God spoke through this situation of teaching my foster child how to ride a bicycle. She wanted to skip the training wheels section, our part of the journey, and it's just not happening. So yes, I am going to have to buy those training wheels. Thank you so much for listening. God bless you. And until next time, remember, God speaks.